Thanks. 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 I just want to go back to your statement about um, the extremists want to incite a religious war against Islam, and they've failed. Um, there have been a lot of questions raised about why you have chosen not to associate yourself with the language that was used by the French president when he said we're at war with radical Islam, and instead you've chosen a formulation where you say we want to counter individuals who commit violence based on their warped view of Islam. Mm -hmm. um, is the reason you don't want to call it radical Islam or use the word war because you're afraid of playing into the extremists' desires to incite a religious war on Islam? Is that the reason you've gone to great lengths to come up with this different formulation? Yeah. Well, Mar, there's certainly, uh, it does seem clear that these terrorists, let's call them what they are, these terrorists uh, are individuals who would like to cloak themselves in the veil of a particular religion. Uh, but based on the fact that the religious leaders of that religion uh, have roundly condemned their actions, uh, those religious leaders have indicated that their actions are entirely inconsistent uh, with Islam. Uh, I think the fact that the majority of victims uh, of terror attacks that are carried out by Al-Qaeda and it, adherents to their particular brand uh, of violence, uh, that the majority of them are Muslim, I think is a pretty clear indication that uh, this is not a, a matter of the world being at war with Islam. Uh, the world and the United States, as we've discussed before in the context of ISIL, uh, is at war with these individuals, these violent extremists, uh, who carry out these acts of terror uh, and try to justify it uh, by invoking uh, uh, right. this religion. Right. The leader of France, your ally in this effort, has put a name on this ideology, yeah. which he calls radical Islam. You have mm -hmm. gone to, bent over backwards, you know, to yeah. not ever say that. Uh, I, uh, there must be a reason. I, I think I, mean, the, I think the reason is is twofold. One is, uh, I certainly wouldn't want to be in a position where uh, I'm repeating uh, the justification that they have cited that I think is completely um, illegitimate. Right? That they have that they have invoked. Uh, Islam to try to justify their attacks. If you call it radical Islam, you feel would be playing into their hands. Well, I, I think what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to describe to you uh, what happened and what they did. These are individuals who are terrorists. Right. And what they did was they tried to uh, invoke their own distorted, deviant view of Islam to try to justify them. So and I think that is uh, completely illegitimate. And what we should do is we should call it what it is. Uh, and it's an act of terror. Uh, and it's one that we roundly condemn. It's an act of terror that was roundly condemned by Muslim leaders across uh, the globe. Uh, there are reports that at least one of the victims of the attack in Paris was actually a Muslim. Uh, we know that at least one of the hostages in the kosher grocery store uh, was a Muslim. Uh, and one of the things I think that has been particularly uh, inspiring about the march that we spent a lot of time talking about yesterday is the kind of solidarity that we saw among the French population. This is a diverse country, but we saw French Jews marching with French Christians and French Muslims uh, in a sign of solidarity to condemn uh, these terror acts and to demonstrate that that country will not uh, uh, retreat uh, in the face of that kind of violence. But, but other of your allies have, put, have described the ideology that you call a warped view of Islam by calling it radical Islam. They're not saying we're at war with Islam. They agree with you totally in every word you just said. But they are calling the ideology, the warped view that these people adhere to, by a name. And, I'm, and it seems that, you, that the White House has gone to great lengths to avoid ever calling it anything other than you know, warped view. And I'm wondering, well, is there a reason for that? Yeah. And, and I'm, I guess I'm trying to, I'm doing my best to try to explain to you what that is. The first is accuracy. We want to describe exactly what happened. These are individuals who carried out an act of terrorism. And they later tried to justify that act of terrorism by invoking uh, the religion of Islam and their own deviant view of it. The second is, this is an act that was roundly condemned by Muslim leaders. That, again, I, I'm describing to you the reasons why um, we have not chosen to use that label because it doesn't seem to accurately describe what had happened. Uh, we also don't want to be in a situation uh, where we are legitimizing what we consider to be uh, a completely um, illegitimate justification for this violence, this ter act, act of terrorism. Almost legitimate. Uh, again, I'm not going to criticize anybody who chooses to use that label. I'm talking about the way that we're talking about this. And what we're trying to do is be as um, specific and as accurate as possible in describing what exactly occurred.